What's good, family? It's your boy JT from the Two Man and Mike Show. And if the streets are talking about it, you know we are talking about it. This morning, keep your head a message is really, really self-explanatory and simple. Complacency, the dream killer. Now, I got a chance to be a little bit transparent in this one, so I'm going to talk a little bit about myself, let you guys get to know a little bit about me. So since the age of 10 years old, I've always held a speaker to my ear or some type of microphone in my mouth and always wanted to be the voice coming on the ins on the other side of that speaker or always wanted to be the voice coming uh, out of that little tape recorder with the mic or what have you, even to the point when I was about maybe nine years old, I used to actually do DJing with the person that was on the other end of that speaker. So for example, I'll be listening to music, then when the DJ get on and get to talking, I would try to interact and talk back with him. That's how long I have had a passion to have my voice heard through a platform. Uh, I spoke to organizations, I spoke to churches, I spoke to large crowds of people. I've always, at some point, have been able to have a platform where I can be heard. So, like anyone, went away to college and, of course, wanted to be a big radio star, wanted to be in radio. What well, a thing that happened, how life never goes like you want it to go. I had children at a very early age. I was in my very, very early 20s when I had my first, uh, when I had my, my oldest child, my daughter. I was, I want to say I was 21 years old then. So, like any man that was raised by a man and saw his grandfather and his father and the other men in their family work, that's what I had to go do. I, I messed up for school. I had mouths I had to feed. I had a daughter I had to take care of. So I began working, began jobs, working this job, working that job, trying to make ends meet. Then bounced myself into a little bit of a career that I never thought I'd get myself into. Now let's forward fast that to today. It's the complacency why I still haven't reached my passion or I still isn't doing my passion to the point where I can pay my mortgage and I still have to work a job. Because I had jobs all these years, because I considered myself having a good job, I let complacency set in, and I let my passion die of what I really want to do. So now I find myself in a situation where now I have to compete with people that are 10 and 20 sometimes years younger than me and doing what we're doing now with this. And the thing about a job, there's no such thing as I have a good job. You hear a lot of people say that so often. Well, I got a good job. I have a good job. Let me tell you something. Your job is only as good as they ass want you there. As soon as they don't want you there no more, poof, there go that good job. Now what you going to do? Let's just be honest. The only thing a job does, and a lot of us, especially black people, we got that bad. We really think we're doing something with these jobs. Or we really think there's 40 hours a week that we didn't we didn't made it. Or then we, we didn't became something. So we we keep quiet about things. We don't want our voices heard about things. We don't want to rattle the boat. We don't want to go through lives being who it was meant for us to be. Because first thing you hear a person say, I don't want to lose my good job. I repeat it again. There's no such thing as a good job. A job is only as good as they want your ass there. And nothing lasts forever. And in the meanwhile, the only thing the job really did for you, what, pay the mortgage? You, you know, put food in your stomach? Put food in your refrigerator? put a little clothes in your back, and put gas in your car just for you to get back to work the next day and do it all over again. Where is the passion? Where is the desire to be the best that you can be and pursue your dreams? Complacency is a dream killer. Don't get complacent in your job. Don't let a job make you complacent. Don't get complacent in anything in life, whether it's love, relationship, a job, no matter what it is, always try to outdo yourself. Always try to be the best. Expect greatness for yourself. And always remember, it's never too late. It's never too late. You can catch all our shows at the Two Man and a Mic Show on Facebook Like Us. That's the number two, Man and a Mic, all spaces. I'm your boy JT, and if the streets are talking about it, you know we're talking about it. Keep your head up on this Monday morning. And remember, complacency is a dream killer. Do not become complacent in anything that you do in life. Peace and love, family. I'm out.